There was an old lady. She was the mother of our church. We used to call her mama. One day I saw mama walking from the store. I said, mama, where you going? Is there anything I can do for you? Or can I take you somewhere? She said, take me by brother Joe so I can take him some of these sweet potatoes. She said, take me by mother Jackson. I got some bread for her. She said, take me by sister Mary. I got some rice for her. She said, you know what, baby? Sometimes life can be so hard. But she said, that's all right. I may be. It's all right. I have met seniors on the road that uh, uh, have very little food to eat and they're isolated. You know, a lot of people don't realize that a lot of seniors be isolated because a lot of the neighborhoods that uh, that once was, you know, thriving good neighborhoods have uh, been taken over and, and a lot of the seniors, they're afraid to come out. It's not easy for me to find somebody to help me. I have to fight by myself. But uh, places like Meals on Wheels provide places that they can come out and uh, you know and uh, congregate with other seniors and, and get a nice, decent, hot meal. You know, so I don't drive because my high blood pressure. The doctor refused me drive. We don't got so used to these meals. You know, once a day, we know we're gonna get a great nutrition meal for us, and we appreciate these meals. When people become aware of it and get more sensitive to it they'll be able to, uh, you know, help seniors and, you know, even financially, even just spend time with seniors, you know, just to sit around and listen at their stories because they're some of the sweetest people you ever want to meet. I have a total of $33 left out of my check this month, which didn't go for it. And I was wondering how I was going to make ends meet for me to get my meal, my food in the house. And I thought, oh, God, well, when I go to the center, I bring my milk home for my cereal. I said, we get milk for lunch, and I bring that home, and I have that for my cereal. And then sometime I take the meat home, and if I have a vegetable, I put it with that, and then have my dinner. Because now one gallon of milk, almost, almost $5, with meal on will help, I don't buy milk. This meal is very important to our seniors. I'm a senior myself, but fortunate enough, I have a job. But it's plenty of people here who's on low income and don't have the ability to buy and eat all the time. We give them a meal here. Some people come here just to eat. And you know, this food is very important to them. So whoever it is, whoever, whatever you have to do, please change this and make it better. Because truly, one day, if you live long enough, you're going to be a senior citizen, too. We're all headed that way, so, I mean, we can never, mom, dad, aunt, uncles, everybody that knows somebody that's a senior, you know, even sometimes you just can just go by and say hi, and just stop by and take them something, and just spend time with them, you know, because, you know, don't forget about them, because they really, is the really the starting of our lives because they helped us really get to where we are. I look forward to getting here every day because this is mostly the, the hottest meal I get a day. I don't cook at home. I live alone and I'm independent and I don't have much left out of my social security to get the meal that I need because I'm diabetic and with my blood pressure and all. But here we get the nutritious meal and uh, I don't have to be involved with the salt. It's very good for me here. Very excited for uh, being a part of Brown Meals on Wheels and you know getting ready to do the things we're getting ready to do for us. You know touring and making people aware of all the challenges that they're having so I'm so excited. I get me on the wheel. I, oh yeah, I get rid of it.